Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Very good. Just making a small comment about how the treatment is progressing for the 25 people who are already participating, as I already mentioned, I'm not going here, and it's not even possible for me to explain what is being done. What are each of us who are participating in this process doing to heal those who are there? Many of you still don't understand the process very well, but things are going the way they should. The important thing is that you are sending a lot of loving energy to all 25 people there. This is what is important. This energy, whatever source it may be, whatever type it is, it is transformed, enhanced by Archangel Raphael, and fully applied to each one of those there. The love of Mother Mary is involving you in the purest feeling of love for yourself, so that all this feeling of not belonging to this world, of being something strange, of having no reason to live, is transmuted into pure love for yourself. So the work is being done. Yes, we are making progress, we are making progress. This group will be treated during the 14 days, as agreed. When this group ends, some changes will happen. No, I will not close the treatment groups. Don't worry, but some changes will happen. Wait. Rest assured that many, very good changes will happen. So everything is the way it is. Very soon new groups will be opened, and if they have already been opened, please put your hands on your conscience. Participate. It hurts a little of you. Only that. Continuing our topic from yesterday. I was quite excited. So let's continue. As I explained in yesterday's class, there are those main councils in the universe. There is another council, also very interesting, which is the development council. If we also think about everyone's evolution, it's not enough to just create a solar system, create a planet, create a star, create whatever, and leave it wandering around the universe without function or simply without evolution. This would be completely beside the point. So, the Development Council is concerned with exactly this, observe and propose the necessary changes so that the entire universe evolves in a harmonious way. The other small councils are not worth commenting on, but I can tell you the following, the Great Councils, the ones I mentioned, are made up of many people. I will correct, they are made up of many beings. People, it's you. What do you call yourselves on this planet? There we call beings, and of course all beings of light, each one representing a part of the universe. No, we do not have the entire universe represented there. We can say that we have representatives from each galaxy, and depending on the number of solar systems within the galaxy, we can even have more than one. And then you start to think with your little Tersarum minds, ah, that doesn't work. I mean, he, one receives the information and passes it on to the others. Then you get down there and start discussing everything again. No, that's not how it works. What did I say to you here yesterday? There is no discussion, there is a presentation of ideas. So that's exactly what I said yesterday. So, I'll give you an example, then one of the great counselors returns to his galaxy, he meets with all the other counselors from all the stars, and passes on the information. For those who do not agree, the process is still ongoing, and everything is discussed until everyone reaches a consensus. If the point presented by the person who felt uncomfortable is relevant, the Grand Counselor takes this point back to the Greater Council and the point is analyzed again. So, my brothers, it's not like it is in your world, where you are forced to follow the rules, which one, the one who is in the highest position determines, and you have to simply follow, because there is nothing you can do. You have no voice. The universe doesn't work like that. In the balanced universe, everyone has a voice, and any opinion is analyzed and discussed. We could say, even discussed, but not at the level of discussion that you know. It is placed on the table and everyone starts to give their opinion about it with lots of love and lots of light. No one tries to override your opinion. No one thinks their opinion is better or greater than someone else's. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. And if everyone thinks that that single opinion is better, it will prevail without any problem. 
There are no egos. Ah, he's better than me. No, I will not let his opinion prevail over mine. No, this is thought from there, from Tercera, not the high dimensions. Ah, it is worth highlighting here that these councils are in the highest dimensions. I can even say that they are in the highest dimension, because it is precisely they who have to organize the whole. So there can be nothing above them. They are in the highest dimensions. And with each dimension that descends, another small council is formed, always following the paths determined there in the last one, but in this way, they receive the information, analyze, is it good for the whole? No, no, here in our reality this information is not good. You can come back to discuss, and return to discussion, without any problems. Because the important thing, my brothers, is balance, not establishing a rule that is good for the galaxies of the fifteenth dimension, and arriving here in the fifth dimensions and being a disaster. This cannot be done. It has to be good for the whole, it has to be good for everyone. So the discussion goes back and forth all the time. The counselors work a lot, all the time, because imagine the size of the universe and all the information that comes and goes. I know this is a little complicated to happen in your mind, but time in higher dimensions is not linear like your time. It's a very different time. So there is no rush, there is no stress, there is no anxiety to resolve anything. Everything is resolved in its own time, everything is resolved at the right time. And no one loses out from this. Believe me, the process works, it has been working for a long time and will continue to work that way, because it has proven to be a good process, where everyone is heard. Nobody obeys anyone. Everyone obeys the rules established by the whole, and everyone has an opinion, everyone has a voice. So there is no problem at all, there is not the slightest feeling of inferiority, because everyone participates in the decision. Even the most irritated one. Yes, it may seem surprising to you, but there are some who are more exalted. No, it's not that he doesn't have love in his heart, he is just an agitated soul, a soul here likes to shout, that soul is inherent. So it's a little more agitated, but in the end everyone stays calm. There is no irritation due to anger, it's just a way of exposing yourself, and putting yourself out there. Not with a feeling of making your opinion prevail. No, it's just to present your opinion. They are people who are a little impatient. Yes, this exists, souls are not 100% perfect, souls have to vibrate love. Some other feelings exist in souls, but not that they are harmful, they come and go just as I tell you. If you fall, you make a mistake, very good, realize the error, stand up and don't make mistakes again. It's this way too. There is indeed a lot of discussion, but they are loving discussions, not discussions of power, because the power does not exist. The great counselors can be changed at any time, because they are there by age and experience, for that soul's time, but one day they are exchanged. Everyone has the right to get there. Just evolve. Therefore, the objective of each soul is evolution, climb higher and higher into higher dimensions. and. Perhaps one day, get to sit there on the Grand Council. Why not? Nobody is prohibited. Everything is learning. It's evolution. A soul is not created to be a third soul for its entire life. A soul is not created to be a fifth soul all its life. No, souls are created and they can reach the highest degree. They just evolve. You don't really realize this because you were kept trapped in the same dimension for thousands of years. So you can't realize this, but after you arrive at the fifth, you will have a whole evolutionary path ahead of you. You just have to decide to follow him. Of course, these are not easy paths, they are big schools, it's a great learning experience. But whoever passes by goes up, exactly like a school. Every year you study, you move up one grade. That's exactly it. There is no differentiation between fifth souls and seventh souls, known as souls, no, all souls are souls, and they can go wherever they want. Then you ask me, can we even be Archangel? 
Then I answer, who is Metatron today? Metatron was a being incarnated on Earth, and today he is in the category of Archangel. Of course, he is not an offshoot of our Father or Mother God. Their powers are immense, because he has achieved this, he studied for it, he prepared for it. Only our origins are different. But I already told you that Metatron is responsible for the Akashic Records. So where is he? He is on the Council. So my brothers, any of you can get there, just prepare yourself, just want it, you just need to want to follow a path. It's perfectly possible. Oh, and the powers. Powers are inherent in everything you learn. Each dimension you reach, the powers are inherent to that dimension. So it's all very simple, just do it wherever, just prepare yourself. Exactly how you are preparing now, to move up from Tersera to Quinta. It's my brothers, let's break down some limiting beliefs there. So this just destroys that idea that has always been in your mind, that you are nothing, that you are sinners, that you are filthy beings, beings with no condition to evolve. Lie. Each being evolves according to its will, according to your walk. Everyone can get to the Grand Council, yes, without any problems. So just do it wherever. Just stay on the path. You just want to study. You just want to change. And then many may wonder, but if everyone can get there, no, it's not too crowded, right? No, because the council does have a limited number of people. But what I said, everyone may want to get there, and when someone wants to be a counselor, they say, I want to be part of this council. Very good. Someone who wants to rest is expected, someone wants to have a more peaceful existence, without so many definitions. Then one counselor leaves and another enters. As long as one doesn't leave, no one, no one is exchanged. But it doesn't exist. I'll say it again, the counselor doesn't just sit there tantruming, ah, I'm not going to leave so that no one can take my place, no, he doesn't leave because he thinks he's still useful there. So all those who want to go to the council register. I'm speaking in earthly terms so you understand. Of course, that's not how it works. But let's go. Anyone who wants to be a counselor registers, and it'll be funnier, send your CV, like you do back on Earth. Put your skills into practice, put your CV there and sign up to be a counselor. Of course, his file is analyzed and a meeting is held. Is anyone willing to go out and rest? To exchange places with this brother who wants to enter. Great. If someone leaves, they come in. It's simple, and those who leave don't leave feeling inferior, and not even the one who enters feels superior to the one who left. Ha, 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 I took his place. No, 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 there is no such thing. These feelings do not exist. There are things to do for the whole, do it for the good of the whole. So the one who left will take care of other things. There's a lot to be done. You have no idea what it's like to take over an entire universe. I think you're thinking it's a joke, that is easy. No, it's not. It is very complex, because a poorly made decision unbalances the entire universe. So that's why all decisions have to be taken in unison, there cannot be one disagreeing. Ah, but what if the person who disagrees accepts just to accept, and then creates conflict? That doesn't exist, because remember, we are not bodies, we are energies. So we are transparent. So no one can disguise themselves behind a cloak, either he's glowing in agreement or he's not. Until he agrees, the matter is not closed. This is no joke my brothers. The balance of the universe is in the hands of these counselors. Of course, there are some situations where important decisions have to be made quickly, a conflict that exists between some system, between stars. This has to be decided at the time, and then, at that moment, our father or mother God is consulted, because then, the final word comes from him, as there is no time for a unanimous decision. Then he, as his full wisdom, will know how to make the correct decision, without everyone needing to be heard. 
It's my brothers, the process is not simple. Keeping all this in balance, only the great wisdom of our father or mother God, for all this. And all those who are in their positions doing their work are able to maintain it. So realize that your journey is still long, very long. When I said here the other day, and many were astonished, that souls die. Understand, what is soul? Just an aside, I'm not going to talk about the soul today. The soul has to be an exclusive class about it. Just an aside. The soul is an energy, it is an energy with consciousness. Don't forget that. Very good then. Everything that is created can be destroyed. Everything, without exception. Everything that our father or mother God created can be destroyed. It depends a lot on each person's energy, the defense of each one, of what each person is predisposed to do and where they expose themselves. Very good. So this is how many souls die. There are processes of. I'm not going to talk about the dark ones that are here on your planet, no, because that will also be a completely separate topic, but we have in the universe, the counterpoint. I said this here yesterday. And there are ways for them to kill souls. They achieve this. No, I would say, souls from higher dimensions, because they are not there, so they can reach souls from their same dimension, souls that are in the same dimension, not evolved souls. Very good. So souls can die. It's as if you had a light bulb on and unplugged it. They strike the divine spark of this soul, and it is extinguished because that energy is gone. It is pulverized, is not reused. You have a law in your world, which was created by a great scientist, who says, nothing is created, everything is transformed. And this is a truth. These souls that are destroyed, this energy is pulverized, and will become a particle of some other being, some other star. It just disintegrated. This energy does not disappear in the universe, because everything that is created is destroyed in its form, but in its infinitesimal part, this is not destroyed. It's as you know, the atoms of a molecule. It's as if you had a molecule and dismembered the atoms. Each atom continues to exist separately, no longer as a molecule, but as separate atoms, and they may later form part of another molecule. So that's what happens when a soul is destroyed. Simply, the infinitesimal pieces of this soul become loose, so to speak, and can become part of new beings, or new stars. Nothing is lost. Anything. So my brothers, it is not by determination of our father or mother God that souls are destroyed. No. They are destroyed when in battle, for example. Then many may ask, and how does our father or mother God allow this? It is my brothers. This is the great enigma. This is the great enigma of the wisdom of our father or mother God. How did our father or mother God allow evil? If he is pure love, pure light, how did he allow evil? So this will be our topic for tomorrow. It will be a very interesting subject, and it won't be just one class, because it is a long, extensive subject, and you will like it, I'm sure. Keep all the teachings I gave today. Talk about it. Try to form ideas in your minds with everything I said. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here, ready, to help each one of you, to open your minds and understand everything I've been talking about.